Welcome to Vets to PM's Military Transition Academy podcast, the show where we discuss how to succeed in transitioning from the military service to the civilian workforce. This show and the academy it represents helps veterans transition into meaningful, lucrative post-service careers. Your primary host is Eric Doc Wright, PhD, certified manager, military veteran, serial founder, best-selling business author, philosopher, linguist, and coach. Your other host is Jeremy Burdick, project management professional, scrum master, product owner, and retired Air Force chief, and the current COO of Vets to PM and the Professional Development Unit University, where we will interview veterans successful in corporate America and business to bring you nuggets of wisdom every episode to make you more successful. Hey, Jeremy, you know, I was thinking about it, dude, when I was prepping for this episode of uh, the MTA podcast, and it occurred to me, we make a living helping military veterans achieve meaningful, lucrative careers. One of our flagship ways of doing that is helping folks, especially, you know, operators or get stuff done MOS type, you know, uh, missions and exercise type stuff over and over and over um project management right because a mission and or an exercise and training for a mission is a temporary endeavor it starts and stops and it has a unique outcome right or outcomes qualify the platoon on this new weapon system or stand up an armory or build a new airstrip or defect or retrograde a unit back to the states like whatever it is right so we hear lots of project management right but there's lots of credentials there's lots of different dialects, if you will, of the mother project management language tongue, right? So you and I field this question weekly, if not daily, some weeks, man. So what did you come up with as a way to help folks really get a solid azimuth or a great beat on this, man? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So one of the big things that we really believe around here is produce some value for somebody up front, and they'll thank you for it later. So uh, to answer the question that we receive all the time is we built a free fundamentals course. So it's project management fundamentals, and it comes with a PDU claim code. If you're already qualified, you can still come check it out. If not, go check it out and see if you want to be a project manager when you grow up or I identify with some of this training because you already are a project manager and now you just got to learn the, the lexicon. The way you find this is go to vets2pm.com slash training, sign up for your free resources, and it'll be there in your student portal as a course. It's a free course. We give it away five, six hours, and you really kind of got a good sense of the foundational framework of project management when we talk about scope and schedule and budget and quality. And so we really unpack it with uh, Garrick, our lead instructor teaches the course and it's uh, you know, it's a pretty well done course. So if I'm left to the transition bang, most of the time, here's where we get the question folks left to the transition bang. Right? Yeah. Hey, yeah. somebody in my tap class mentioned PMI or mentioned PMP or mentioned ACP or mentioned scrum or mentioned like whatever. That's right. right. Or, Hey, I've been told that I'm a project manager. Uh, and the conversation really usually quickly moves to certifications. That's right. Um, and then kind of as a related thing, well, so I've heard project management. I've looked at a couple of the certs, but gee whiz, man, I was the, I, I, I was, I was the top sergeant. I was the first shirt. I was a platoon leader. I was a platoon sergeant. I was the XO. Um, like I wasn't, I wasn't ever a project manager, Jeremy. And what you'll quickly realize after you take the course is, no, man, it's, it's project management. These are just the words that the civilians use to talk about running missions and exercises. For example, we got to have a plan to do a mission and or an exercise, and it has to be iterative and adaptive. We got to adapt to the environment. Well, we call that the military uh, 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 decision-making process. Yeah, they Nowadays, are. they call it something else, I'm sure. SMEAC, whatever you call it in your service branch, doesn't even matter. It's the way we make a plan to execute a temporary, unique endeavor. So the op order is called a project management plan in the city of Div. And right. if you make that connection, then, you know, I hear vets all the time say, well, I can't really interview as a project manager because I'm not really a project manager. No, 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 dude. You have a lot of project management experience. You just don't talk about it like the civilians do. It's legit experience. You can say you're a project manager. You just didn't have the title. 
That's doesn't right. mean you didn't do projects. So take the course, learn a language, figure out when they're dropped, when people are in the tap class or, you know, around you on LinkedIn or whatever, dropping all these certification names, like figure out what any of that means. Just go take a free class. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. And you're going to find out that, hey, it was a recall roster or a key leaders list. And it it's called a stakeholder register. We changed the names in, in PMI certifications just to make it a little more complex. I feel like, you know, sometimes we're like, it's like a lawyer talks like a lawyer and a doctor has their own lingo. And before you know it, if you, if you really broke it all down and were able to speak Latin, you'd be a scientist too, right? It would just, it just works out that way. And once you get that lexicon, it's, uh, it's crazy how uh, much of the project management processes that you have done in the past. And you'll be able to hook that to all those brain buckets that you've got stored in your mind. And you'll be able to crush that exam if you go as you go through it. But yeah, great place to do some little self-discovery. Jump on there. Super, Where is it? Where do I go? Go right back to vets2pm.com slash training, or you can get there with free resources. So if you forget training, go to free resources and you can get there either way. Sign up, it'll be right in your student portal underneath your courses. Cool. And so another thing after you've taken that uh, fundamentals course that we've got, what would you say is another good step for a young burgeoning project manager to go to go do when they're still questioning like, hey, I've, maybe you've got a little bit of imposter you know, syndrome where you're like, man, I don't know if I really am a project manager. I kind of know the basics. What's kind of the next step for that maturation model that you might have in your mind? Well, heck, JB, the nonprofit that I co-founded does nothing but manage the, the mentors project managers is what I would say. Um, and the genesis was, you know, kind of like we created the free course. I mean, the way we do stuff at Best PM is how do we continue to help military veterans achieve meaningful, lucrative post-service careers? How do we do that? Okay. So one of the ways we do that is, you know, we were mentoring all of our students and then it got to scale. <laughs> it was like full-time job mentoring students when we all got full-time jobs. So... I worked with an industry uh, project management office guy, um, and we basically did a scrum experiment, a spike, um, and we started a digital platform. And I learned this trick at, when I was at Defense Finance and Accounting Service. We created a digital platform. We found project managers from all over corporate America, Microsoft, Boeing, GM, USAA, whatever, to come onto this mentor platform. It's digital. And then you go in and register as a protege. It's all free. And you hook up with a civilian project manager who can prep you for interviews, who can prep you for promotion conversations, who can prep you for what certification should they get, who can make connections inside the company for potential hiring. I mean, these people are hiring managers during the day, right? So, um, yeah, all you got to do is go to the vpmma.org and sign up. That's okay. what it is. It's the Veteran Project Manager Mentor Alliance. Um, and it was so popular that we codified it. We created a board. We turned it into a 501c3. Um, you're working with PMI. I mean, it's 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 a great place. And, you know, most veterans, at least in my humble experience, once you get grown up and you're project managing and you're killing it, you know, I mean, we have them. Our students, they come back to us. They want to hire people from us. They want to mentor, they want to give back. So they become mentors in the platform and take on the next protege. So it's just, I mean, here's the analogy. Every time you change duty stations, you're still in the Air Force. You still follow AFIs. You still, you know, call stuff what you call stuff, the DFAC, whatever you guys call it. Navy's easy, bulkhead, deck, overhead, like whatever. So the customs, the courtesies, the vernacular is the same, but the way your local unit, the way the commander and the XO and the superintendent or the first shirt interpret that stuff and execute it locally to local unit mission is different. Yeah, for sure. Right. So that's what the VPMMA is. It's your project management arms budsman. Oh, right? too, too cool. Yeah. I didn't even think about it like that. I mean, it's essentially if you get, in touch with a mentor that does it inside of X company, and you might be interested in X company or how they run projects better, different, faster, cheaper, more effective, whatever, you can hit that person up and find out their way of doing their projects in their company. Because I always say there's 
three types of project management, right? There's academic that you learn in college, university. There's the PMI way, which, you know, really is aimed at passing that certification test and doing it by the book, by the PMBOK. And then there's that, hey, this is how Continental Tire does it, right? Or this is how Walmart does it. So, you know, and sometimes I'll get, Jeremy, people, I'll be at a conference speaking or something, and somebody go, oh, you guys are like ACP, like American Corporate Partners, or oh, you guys are like Federati, or wh whatever. And it's like, look, man, those places, oh, you guys are like Fort Block. Those places are all great. This is not left of or during the transition bang, no. It can be, but the organization was started to help a guy like you. Hey, man, I did Air Force projects for 20 plus years. I do projects at this startup called Vets of PM. I wonder how they do stuff at USAA. Maybe I need a mentor from USAA. I wonder how they do projects at Coca-Cola. I wonder how they do projects at US Airways. Like, I wonder how they do projects at Tesla. Well, I don't know. Let me hook up with a project manager at Tesla for three months, knock out a couple of objectives, have a relationship. Now you know somebody managing projects inside of Tesla. Oh, that's awesome. You that's know good. what I mean? So it's again, it's it's right, it's it's really right of the transition bank. That's who it's for. You're right. a project manager, you're established, you probably have a couple credentials. You're just trying to now acclimate and accelerate your adaptation, your growth your professional capability Perfect. your comfort level really yeah the confidence the confidence yeah, yeah, yeah. You walk yeah, yeah, in yeah. the room hey i'm a project manager yeah, yeah. Uh, i've got somebody the best. usaa who does it for a living said i was that's right that's right yeah that cool confidence i love it yeah yeah, yeah. you know so i do it by going to the vpmma.org and that's then right. just sign up for free is it right there on the home page or do i need yep. to like, click anything yep. mentorship or mentor Okay. So donate your time, talent, or treasure, right? Get your companies to um, tell your buddies about it. You're sitting in tap class with buddies. They, you know, you heard about project management. You heard about PMI or you heard about PMP. You don't know what any of that stuff means. Go get a mentor. Yeah. And, it's, and it's, it's certificate agnostic. You know, it's training company agnostic. It's, it's the profession. But it's for veterans wanting to go into that civilian career field. That's cool. I, it's going to turn a big pool into a small pool. So you can figure out, you know, it is a small world as you begin to network and meet people. And so I think that's a really cool way to shrink it for you really fast is go yep. build a network of people that are successful project managers, get the tips and tricks. People share um, ridiculously well, as soon as you get past that, that first layer of, Hey, hi, what are you, you know, what's your name? What do you do for a living? If you can get past that, then it's usually, hey, have you tried this on your project? Have you tried that? And it's really easy, dude. There's a reason they call it social media. Everybody's got an opinion. They can't wait for somebody to ask them so they can share it with everybody. There you right? go. That's true. And so, you know, hey, so we're doing this kind of project. It seems and feels kind of agile, but I'm not really hip on that. Do you guys do projects at USAA like that, Jeremy? Oh, you do? Cool. I would love some mentorship. And the mentors on the other side of the fence, some of them are veterans, but a lot of them are not. They're patriots. They want to say thank you to their for your service, but they've heard, don't thank me for my service in an airport and like whatever. There's an whole argument about that too, among vets and whatever. I mean, and, and look, man, I'm not here to start that fight or I, and frankly, I could care less, man. I got other stuff to worry about. But what I'm saying is, if you have 20 years of experience and I'm a veteran and we share a professional interest and you can help me, you get to walk around with a little bit of pride, a little bit of chest stuck out, a couple inches taller. Like, yeah, man, I, there's this cat that was in the Air Force and he's really good project manager and I'm helping him grow up, man. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's, they feel like they're saying thank you in a very tangible way. They're helping you be the next profession. And oh, by the way, we're keepers of the flame. We are our brother's keeper. Man, if you get hired as a project manager in my company, I'm going to have to work with you or I'm going to have to train you or I'm going to have to sit in your project review boards or something. Like, you know what I mean? If I can make you as best and as fast and as cheap as I possibly can, I win too. That's right. That's how we're raised as project managers. Grow the next generation of the profession. That's right. That's so right. it's just a really good marriage on multiple levels for the company, for the mentor. Uh, uh, for the protege. I mean, wow. And you can sign up to be a mentor as well at the same, same, yeah. 
you just kind of, it's like about what a drop down or something you pick. Yep. Yep. You just pick the button. I'm going to mentor. I want a protege. Bang. Cool. cool. What if I can do both? <laughs> I'd sure. Get a mentor from a big company and then mentor someone else as well. That'd be great. Sure. Yeah. Cool. Well, all right. Well, thank you. I, I really appreciate you unpacking that. You know, why, why get a mentor? I think you answered that question. And then where do you do it? The VPMMA.org. That's all right. right. That's Perfect. Right. Thank you for tuning in and spending a bit of time with us at the Military Transition Academy powered by Vets to PM. If we piqued your interest, but you want more details, please head over to the website vets to pm.com and see if we can help prepare you for a better tomorrow or a future meaningful and lucrative career.